Welcome to the Week in the Wrist. My name is Chris, and for the past week, I've been wearing the Pagani Design Explorer 40 millimeter GMT automatic watch. This one has a Pepsi blue and red bezel. It's a really cheap homage to the Rolex GMT Master II for around $90. I got this from a Facebook forum member on a whim as I've been wanting to try out an automatic GMT watch for a while. So let's check it out. Let's start with the specifications. It's got a 40 millimeter case diameter, lug to lug of 47 millimeters, 14 millimeters thick. It's got 20 millimeter lugs. It's got an unknown automatic GMT movement with a date complication. It hacks in hand winds. It's got 100 meters water resistance. It's got a synthetic sapphire crystal with a matching synthetic sapphire cyclops. It's got a blue loom and it's also got a 60 click 24 hour bezel. Let's listen for the bezel real quick. Let's look at the case design a little closer. This one's got an oyster style case. It's mostly polished. Polishing the sides, it's got a brushing right there. It's pretty smooth, but no chamfers here. It's got a threaded crown with a crown guard. It's got an open case back. The Pagani Design rotor right there. All stainless steel, of course. And let's look at the bracelet a little closer. This oyster style again, polished middle link. Everything else is brushed. It's got solid end links. It's got screwed links. And it also has a Rolex style clasp with a dive extension. got three micro adjusts down there kind of a pain to adjust and let me show you and it's got the Pagani design Rolex style clasp right there see all the scratches that I made let's look at the dial a little closer it's reminiscent of the GMT master 2 it's got applied indices also got the Cyclops, and it's got a red GMT hand. Let me just show you a quick demonstration of the GMT hand. Right now I got it as a nighttime indicator. So it says 608 and it's at a 1800 right now. So to set it, You gotta put it in the first position. And then turn. So you can track another time zone. Let's put it there and click. And as you set the watch in the regular time, it should still keep track of the second time zone. And of course it's handy for tracking that and then also the rotating bezel. Make sure that you can track a third time zone. 
All right, now here's a segment where we try on a different straps. Let's start up with the bracelet once again. Oyster style again, like I said. Pretty nice. Pretty well made actually. I like that dive extension that they got. All right, next up is my Barton Elite Silicone, the black one, 20 millimeters. Super awesome and comfortable, of course. Huge fan of their rubber straps. Up next is my mesh bracelet, made by Ristology. Pretty classy. Nice alternative to the bracelet. And last but not the least is a Paralon strap in blue. This one from Cheapest NATO Straps. It gives all that summer vibe. I think it matches with the blue in the bezel. Pretty summery. All right, now let's talk about the good and the bad about the watch. The watch looks pretty good. I think it's a looker. It's a very cheap alternative if you want a GMT Master 2 style watch. The GMT function works and it's very useful. I actually use it as a military time indicator. That's really handy for my day job. The bracelet is pretty well made. Solid end links, Rolex style clasp and a dive extension for 90 bucks is pretty good. And this one's got a threaded crown. So that means you don't have to be scared getting close to the water. And now for the bad. The case is not that comfortable for my wrist. My wrist is pretty tiny, six and a quarter inch. The lugs don't really hug my wrists like the, my Seikos do. And for my past demonstration, the bezel action is pretty bad. It's got a lot of back play. Let me just show you. It's got that back play wiggle. And another thing is you have to be careful setting the movement. It kind of jumps whenever you set the time. So make sure that you're still on the right time whenever you set it. Let me just show you real quick. I'm setting the time now. And sometimes when you press it, it kind of jumps. It's not doing it right now. So it's kind of a hit and miss. The crown is kind of gritty feeling. The loom is there, but it's pretty horrible. It doesn't really last that long. And the Cyclops magnifies. But in certain angles, you can't really read the date. Exhibit A. But for around 90 bucks, there's very little wiggle room for improvements, you know? Still a pretty nice watch. All right, let me hear your thoughts and comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, a week on the wrist, where we try on watches for a whole week. And thank you for watching.